Universal Studios Florida is pleased to present the Horror Makeup Show. And now, how about a nice round of applause for the host of today's show, Alex? <laughs> I can't go on. You're welcome. Oh <laughs> see it? See it? See it? See it? See it? <laughs> what is that thing? It's a wand. What? <laughs> I was a diagon alley and a wand shows me. <laughs> Look right on out of the store and in the chest. <laughs> the wand shows you in the chest. Yeah, it shows me. It's more violent than they show in the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Then I went to a window to try a spell. Yeah. <laughs> Security was called. <laughs> <laughs> so I immediately ran here to be with my best friend. You ran? I walked with a quick pace. Fantastic. <laughs> um, so I could be with my best friend because I wanted your face to be the last face I saw before I went to heaven. That's so really sweet. Oh, you're <laughs> cute to think you're going there. Um, <laughs> I'm honest, my last day, so I'm dying. Hey. Oh, no. I'm dying. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I want you guys to see the project I worked on the entire pandemic right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you may not know this. Universal created the modern day horror movie. Yeah, I brought we got some of my favorite moments to show you guys Universal's legacy of horror. Yeah, I've actually seen <laughs> this. Do not and don't do that. <laughs> Swish and flick. Right here on the edge. Right, 
Okay, okay so just don't like that, but okay. Uh, but it's not your stuff. If it was your stuff, then you could do it however you wanted, right? But don't touch it. Okay. Okay. Don't touch my stuff. Okay. Fine. Don't even look at it. <laughs> okay, and if we have any time at the end of the show, I'll share everybody. I want to show my special kid show project that I brought. Oh my God. She's been telling me all about it now. I'm so excited to see Hey, 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 hey. Don't touch your stuff. Thank you. <laughs> 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 that's her stuff. <laughs> she loves me. That's her stuff. Very natural, that's her stuff. That is my stuff. Please don't touch it. Don't touch it, but I still see it. I know. But we can't always get what we want. <laughs> 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 All right, um, I have that's pretty much. Right? Yeah. Um, I brought you yeah. some PPE. Ooh. Hey, question for you. Hmm. You down with PPE? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> There's some old people. Yeah. All right, I heard you. All right, get your shield and lab coat, baby. We're going to okay. get a person from the audience. Okay, cool. I want you to find me a person, somebody in this audience whose family is not into them. Ooh, I'm right here. Oh, I want you to Uh no, I want somebody, I want somebody, oh, oh, there's a very handsome dude over here with long luscious locks. What's happening here? Uh, let's get uh, the scoop on this guy on the aisle. Get him up here, yeah! <laughs> Whoa! All right. Um, what's your name? Levi Marie Jane. Nice to meet you. I got some for you. There you go. Um, Levi, where are you from? Georgia. Georgia. All right. There you go. All right. <laughs> Levi from Georgia. Oh my gosh, Levi. Ooh, okay. So, um, who are you here with? Nobody. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so Levi, right. you're going to come over here and make yourself a friend, a show friend, to hang out with and laugh with and have fun, but nothing too serious. <laughs> so go ahead, here you go, help yourself. Okay. Alex, help me by out. So we're going to put that little friend together. What are you doing? I'm having fun. Levi, I apologize. Head over there. Um, let me just get the Georgia off of this. <laughs> we just don't know where your hands are going. <laughs> I liked you. All right, so you're going to be my assistant. You do the hard part. Roll up your sleeve. You guys probably wonder where we get all the severed arms and legs that you see in the movies. Well, I'll show you. Oh, I don't. Let me see it. Give me your arm. You know, it's going to be old. Levi. <laughs> 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 I, was just, I was like, I'm kidding. I'm not going to use this. It's too big. <laughs> I'm going to use a small sharp knife for you, Levi. It's my special knife. Ew. Stand right here. Are you right or left handed? Sweet. Awesome. Well, hold it then. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Is it okay if I touch your arm? Is it okay? Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't ask, I just took it. Okay, it's fine. I mean, that's why I'm like, I hope Paul likes me because I'm not, I like, I respect him. Oh, you're so I respect cute. him 100%. You're so cute. And he's just like, he's just like a thing to you. And I'm taller than him, so it's fine. Like, I bet I can fit. I fit into his arm. <laughs> 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 I'm going to cut this arm off so you can't put your arm around any other woman. Okay? When I cut you, I want you to scream so that everybody thinks it hurts. So on the count of three, scream. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Kids here. You want me to cut a kid? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
talk to them before you do it. Right, just relax one second, Levi, okay? Let me talk to the kids. <laughs> kids, listen up, okay? <laughs> Don't drink beer for breakfast, okay? <laughs> just because mommy does it doesn't make it right, all right? <laughs> you know, we tried doing that a couple years ago when we were homeschooling. Yeah, mommy likes that mimosa before math. Okay, excuse me. I, we, we meant a safety tip. Sorry. <laughs> kids, all the knives you today, they're not real. Sometimes we use knives made out of rubber or plastic, like Kardashian, okay? <laughs> 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 put together by professionals, okay? Kids, don't try this stuff at home, all right? I'll try never. it at a friend's house. Yes. All right, let's get a close up. Everybody scream for Levi! All right, all right, sweet Levi, big scream. Here we go, ready? One, two, three! Dawn of the Dead. The blade is not sharp and Levi's okay! Yay! Oh my gosh, Levi, what a sweetheart you were. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, what a good one. Oh, if you like the video, Teams don't forget to hit like. Work, I tell ya. <laughs> <laughs> all right, talk to us about the history of this. Yeah. Like, oh, way back. Yeah, stuff like this goes all the way back to the 1920s here at make, uh, Universal with makeup artists. Love that. Uh, he was named Lon Chaney. Known as the man of a thousand faces, he did all of his own makeup for movies like Phantom of the Opera and Hunchback. He would do anything for an effect. He was very, very cool. He even injected bleach in his eye. Oh. I hate that up. <laughs> he did wear a 40-pound rubber hump on his back and a harness that contorted his body. He had back problems the rest of his life. But because he was so secretive and so dedicated, Lon Chaney wouldn't tell a soul how he did this stuff. He didn't even tell his own son, Dick. Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney. <laughs> Ten people got that. All right, cool. He paved the way for Jack Pierce. Jack worked for Universal in the 30s, created the classic Universal monsters, like the Wolfman, the Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Elon Musk. <laughs> he worked day and night to perfect his creations, even going to morgues to study on real dead bodies. That's Tom Brady coming out of retirement. <laughs> Boris Karloff, the original Frankenstein monster. Very basic stuff here. Rubber, plaster, mortician's wax, two pieces of pepperoni. It took about four hours to apply. <laughs> Thank you, one person. Boris <laughs> Karloff has the mummy. Layers of mud and bandages wrapped around his body, head to toe. It took eight hours for ten minutes of screen time. Wow. Universal had some less than stellar monsters. My favorite, this one, big brain creature from the silent earth. Come here, earth lady. No, it's midnight. Time for Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> 1968. Everything was changed when John Chambers used foam latex in the original Planet of the Apes. It's one of my favorite films. She touched her stuff. <laughs> well, well, well. Look what we have here. Somebody touching the stuff. <laughs> Gosh, who did that? You did. Somebody touching the stuff. Gosh, I wonder who it could be. Me? Yes. Ew. It's you. <laughs> no, I want to know. It's you. You no, touched it. No. You touched my stuff. No, I was just sanitizing it. I oh, was cleaning it up. you touched it. Nope. You touched it good. No, thank you, you. set the alarm off. The alarm only goes off if somebody touches my curtain in such a way, moving it as, if you only move it a little bit, the alarm won't go off. If you move it a lot, the alarm goes off. That's right. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw. That's right. And a yeehaw to you, too. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't see what happened. I didn't have to because that's why I have the alarm on it. Something hit it real hard. Like you said, like it, it hit it. Something hit it. Someone threw something at it. And it was hard. And it knocked the curtain open. 
Okay. So I closed. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm confused. The, the thing that they threw was hard, or they threw the thing hard. Correct. <laughs> both, both. Okay. So somebody threw something hard and hit the curtain in a hard way, and then and then it was hard. Hard for you. It was hard for me to see all that happen. So I fixed it for you. You're welcome, little girl. She's lying. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, well, who fixed the thing? <laughs> the teenage kid team, he's like, I'm cool, I'm out of school, no. <laughs> what do you want to throw? A cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't lit or anything, it was like, it's like a TikTok trend, I yeah. think. Oh, like, an unlit cigarette. Yeah. And they just like, they just like, yeah, I know that one. That song, that song, um, um, yeah, because you have the cigarette, I've seen it, yeah. you know, you go, in the middle, I'm in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly I it. Think. So you're doing that. I said, don't. And he goes, I do what I want, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, you don't. Yeah. 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 What's your name? Well, hmm. you better start writing one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm real mad, Will. Where are you from? Florida. From Florida. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, coming together now. <laughs> You're 16, 15? I'm 13. 13? Whoa, holy moly. He's a tall drink of water. <laughs> She has the most adorable daughter who's in She has a terrible attitude, but she's real pretty. And she's so nice. Oh my god! You know what? I'll cut, I'll cut a deal with you. I'll cut a deal with you. I will let all of this go if you consider looking her up on TikTok. Just look her up on TikTok. See what you think. Just look her up. Thumbs up, yes. Like it, yes. No like, no. Okay? Swipe I'll away. let it all go. Swipe it away. Yep. Yeah. Swipe or stay. What up? Your choice. Swipe or stay. All right? I'll be watching you the rest of the show. Okay? All right? I'll be watching you, Will. Mm-hmm. Like a hawk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this isn't Disney, and I don't have to be nice to be. <laughs> We're talking about uh, Playtex. Playtex. Sorry, Playtex. It's a different movie. Um, now let's, talk about latex. let's take a look at some great Playtex work in the Mummy remake. All right. So uh, a few years ago, Universal came out with a remake of the Mummy, which was uh, an homage to the classic Mummy film. It starred Sofia Boutella as the Mummy and Hollywood's oldest living monster, Tom Cruise. And there was some really great latex in that film. Um, so Sophia sat in the makeup chair while they glued layers of latex to her face, individual runic letters and symbols applied with tweezers, some were even hand-painted, and this process took about four hours just from the neck up. From the neck down, large silicone appliances were created with ink-infused glue. It covered the rest of her body with those symbols, kind of like a temporary tattoo, and it looked so good, everybody fell down. <laughs> then it took six makeup artists working at this speed to get her into the rest of the makeup and in the costume. You guys, practical makeup, it does look really great on film, but it can be very time consuming. It can take hours in the makeup chair. But as you guys can see, all of that together really paid off in the end. So cool. <laughs> as makeup artists, we're always inspired by the work we've seen other makeup artists. I have been continually inspired my entire career by the work of Rick Baker. 
I adore this guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, same, same thing. He's won seven Oscars, which is huge. Seven Oscars. He retired a few years yeah. ago. Um, but he has won, most of his Oscars have been for Universal films. Yeah. Um, he won for The Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro. The Grinch. Yeah, Harry and the Henderson. Uh, Men in Black. Oh, that's a good one. Actually, Men in Black is a good lead into this next one. Mm -hmm. um, his very first Oscar winning film. Kids, you know this movie. What is it? American Whip. American yeah. Werewolf in London. Yeah. E.T.'s <laughs> back and he's going through puberty. <laughs> American Werewolf in London. This came out in 1981. Um, this movie is awesome. It's funny. It's scary. It won Rick Baker's very first Oscar. It's incredible. So I wasn't around in the 80s quite yet. Right, right, so right. tell me, how did they do that transformation back then? Okay, well, I'll show you. So what Rick Baker did was he created mechanical heads. Wow. That change shape, and these are actually from the film. I've got to be kind of delicate with them. Um, but there were seven different head, heads made for this um, transformation. The understructure is made out of fiberglass, and then it runs on pneumatics. That's air pressure, right? Yeah, yeah. so the air actually is pushing out the cutouts, and that stretches the latex. And then everything on it is very detailed. The glycerin on the face for sweat, the teeth are porcelain dentures, and then this is actually all real hair. Human hair. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Kids from Florida. <laughs> Are we still using this stuff today? Or? Yeah. Now we're taking stuff like this and we're combining it with digital effects. And I'm gonna clip it. Of course. All right. So we're going to take a look at some of the digital work that they did in The Mummy um, because uh, we already saw Sophia in uh, all of the practical latex makeup, all the time it took for that. But now we're going to see her doing all of her own digital puppeteering, all of the motion capture work that she did for this film. So she's in a motion capture suit and filmed on set. All, everything that's covered by the suit is going to be replaced with digital animation. Because oftentimes in a film like this, there's just a level of decay on a monster that we can't quite get with practical makeup. And that's where digital technology helps fill those gaps in. Um, but it's taking the time to combine the effects to make sure that everything matches up. Because when you take computers, add them with practical makeup, a great story and good acting, that is where nightmares come true. <laughs> so good. I love it. That's Marty Chow! Uh, Paul the air came out of that baby. <laughs> um, and you should put on this uh, high voltage vest real quick, okay? Oh, I don't want to. I, I don't want to do that. Okay, um, there's a low voltage vest. Just go ahead and put that on. Where's that one? It's right here. You just said high voltage. Yeah, I said hi. Put on this no voltage vest. Put it on here. Done. I'm doing that. Leave us. Leave us. Leave us. Leave us. Leave Welcome back. All right, so right here we have a vest for you to put on. Attached to it is a glove that slides on your right hand and then a helmet that goes on your head, okay? So Levi is putting on a telemetry suit. It is a very basic creature controller. He is going to be connected to the creature I've made and he is going to bring that creature to life. Let's meet him, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you for the first time ever. Please put those hands together. Yes, he is for a brand new live action series based on Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> He's for the final episode. Dora learns to run Molly Rapido. <laughs> <laughs> Or me if you like, if you need to. No, no, just like do it. Do it forever, okay? I will be here for you. You're going to be like that. Then you're going to go to sleep, okay? When you wake up, your pants will be wet. Oh my God. <laughs> what is all this? What is this? It's, not, it's normal. 
The lights? It's like, it, it pulls a lot of power whenever it boots oh, up. pulls the power. Yeah, okay. so just chill out. Fine. It's fine. Fine. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> Reception. That's cool. It's been around since the early 90s. Go nice. faster. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my money don't jiggle jiggle. They don't call me the magazine. You wiggle wiggle. Oh, so I like TikTok. Yeah. Wave at the kids. Hi, right, kids. Hi, baby. Uh -oh. I live under your crib. <laughs> Take a bow. There he goes. <laughs> Arm by your side. <laughs> so cool. Universal is going to give you a free three-day cruise. Ooh. For sure. All right, let's hear it. Thank you. <laughs> 